trail. Trails, trail. Well, I think the trail's this way, I'm not sure. Hey guys, Hiking Hinkle here today. So today we are in the southern part of New Hampshire's White Mountains, and we're gonna be going up Mount Whiteface and Mount Passaconaway. So right here, we are gonna get off the Blueberry Ledge Trail and we are going to take the Blueberry Ledge Cutoff here to save us a little bit of distance. So we are now in the Sandwich Range Wilderness in the White Mountain National Forest. Where's my sandwich?
hopeful we don't have to go up that way. I think we do. Yeah. I don't see like a Karen or a marker, but I see a bottle of blue Powerade. <laughs> yeah. We, we no longer have markers on the trail. Wait, does Powerade not breathe? Kick it. We have a bottle of blue Powerade Freshly telling burned. us to go up that. <laughs> So now we're going to take the Rollins Trail in order to Mount Passaconaway. Off we go! So I gotta say, hiking each season has its pros and cons, but personally, I love the winter hikes. I love this feeling of being in such a quiet and still spot. And during the winter, the snow muffles all the sound around you. So if you stop for a second, you can hear absolutely nothing. And that's a cool experience that you don't really get when you hike these trails during the other seasons. There's also a lot less people out here during the winter. So you get a lot more solitude on the trails. And lastly, you know, the trail is super clear in the winter because you're just following the footsteps of everyone else who took the trail before you. So you can see, it's almost like a highway here that we're just following along through the woods. So you don't have to really worry about looking for trail markers at all. You can kind of just wander and get lost in your own thoughts as you follow the path. So we're now on the Dicey's Mill Trail and we're going to take this path up to the summit of Piscataway. It's starting to lightly snow.
So this right here is the top of Mount Passacanaway. You can see there's no real view or even a sign up here, but all the trails from this point start leading downwards. So this is what we are declaring the top is. So the top didn't have a view, but there are these little outlooks on the side. We can't really see much of it because it's snowing quite a bit out here now. Normally you'd be able to see quite far out. We are covered in snow and it is quite frigid. And Bubba may be developing some signs of frostbite, so we are gonna get down to the warm car as fast as possible. So we just came down from Mount Pescanaway, right up there. And now we're on, back on the Dicey Mill Trail. We're gonna go down this way. 50A, Pescanaway. Back to the parking lot. So we can tell how cold it is based on how much ice is in Bubba's beard. You got this, man. Oh, much anxiety. You may have passed the one bad part. Now it's going uphill. This part seems pretty bad to me. I might just step off onto this. Is that solid? If you shift your feet up a little bit more, there you go. Now you can stop. Ah! <laughs> we go from deep snow to very light snow covering. Oh, yeah. We finished the 11 and a half mile loop, summoning both Mount Whiteface and Passacanaway in just about eight hours. The actual summits were surrounded by trees, but there were many outlooks along the way to showcase the beautiful views. Summoning in Whiteface is a technical challenge in the winter, with lots of ice near the summit, so I highly recommend doing the loop clockwise, summoning in Whiteface first, so you're going up the most difficult climbing section. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye! How do I zoom on your ass? <laughs> hey, I don't do this. It's a digital zoom, so it sucks. Holy Shake it, hood, hot cheeks. You do that blood or a red trail mark? It's the blood of our enemies. Yeah, literally.